still doing the 2022 favorites right now what we're going to do is we're going to do all complexion products we're going to go through primers foundations concealers setting sprays setting powders and finishing powders so we've got a bunch to talk about let's get into it right now Hello friends, we always talk about what I have on before we get started. I've had this on in three videos, so you've probably already seen it. It is just a very yummy, little bit thicker knit long sleeve shirt that comes down past the rear with a really cute little sleeve right there. I love the sleeve. It's a double ruffle v-neck right there. And I do have on those interesting earrings that have the back on them that have the piece that is separate. So it looks very layered with the paper clip and then the um, circles right there. So pretty in the gold. And then my lifetime jewelry that I talk about all the time. This is a rhinestone heart necklace. And then I have a herringbone necklace. And I also do have my favorite bracelet from them, which is roses with the leaves. Lifetime jewelry is one that you register. And if anything goes wrong with the jewelry, you get to get it replaced or get it fixed by them. And they've been around for a very long time. It's not a sponsored video. I just love this jewelry. Let's so, start out. You're going to see numbers come up on the screen. That's going to correspond to the products. And you can shop for those down below in the description box as I'm talking. Let's start out with the primers. And I have three primers at different points price points for you all. The first one is the one that I'm actually wearing today and it is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Primer. This is a great primer for anybody that doesn't want radiance and they don't want things to be super matte. So it is going to leave your skin feeling a little bit hydrated, not a lot. It's going to fill in those pores because it does have the dimethicone in it, but it's super lightweight, super duper lightweight. So you're not going to feel like you have a primer on. It's just a great primer and it doesn't cost very much and I'm so in love with it. I really do love that one. Now, if you want one that is super perfecting and it really gets in there and it's going to use um, quite a bit of silicones, but you're going to really have perfection in filling in those pores and making your pores just vanish completely. This is called Vanish, the primer from hourglass and i really did love this one this year this does go in and it just fills in your pores and it also does its job of making your makeup last a long time not only does it make your makeup last a long time but it also creates that barrier between your makeup and your moisturizer so your foundation is not going to be um, sucked into your skin i think that's a huge deal for any of us and then all for the past six months everybody's been trying to get their hands on the elf halo glow liquid primer this is a doe foot applicator this is a straight straight on dupe for the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter as of this recording right now all of them maybe it's just in my area for the shipping but all of them were in stock this is a beautiful primer that gives you a gorgeous glow and you can wear this by itself if you want just a very natural makeup and with a little bit of perfecting and a little bit of glow on your skin or you can wear this underneath your foundation to give you that very ethereal glow look to your skin so pretty i just really love it and then for and foundations today i do have on the ambient soft soft glow from hourglass that is on this side of my face and this is a very perfecting full coverage foundation i like it because even though it is full coverage i don't have to use two coats to get full coverage one coat is plenty and it just really blurs and perfects with a very soft focus this is not a glow and it's not a matte it is more along the lines of just a satin so it's actually where i really like to sit with my foundations i don't like too much glow and look greasy i don't like it to look flat and matte definitely one of my picks for my favorites i do know that this one is a little bit more pricey but you don't have to use as much of it and i feel like it was worth it also another one that i discovered is from house labs and this is the triclone skin uh, skin tech foundation now this one is super smoothing this is super perfecting and again it has almost a soft matte to it when you put it on the reason that this is so perfecting is it has something like four or five different silicones in it that really do go in and fill in your pores and absolutely make your your makeup look completely perfected this one had me from the minute that i tried it i was so enthralled with it i really do love the way it wears i love how how beautiful it went on. I have nothing bad to say about this. This was a great one this year. 
And then also I tried for the first time, even though this has been out for a long time, the NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. I have this one on this side. I felt like it matched the hourglass very well. This one says glow, but I don't feel like it is a super glow. Again, I feel like it's that pretty satin that you can get from foundation. And that's really what I want. I want my skin to look like skin. I don't want too much glow, like I said, the grease, and I don't want too much matte because then it looks very flat. So this was beautiful as well and this one like the ambient one from hourglass you really could just put it on with one coat and really get beautiful coverage so this was a yay in my book as well and i'm gonna sneak this one in too from iconic london this is their super smoother skin tint this one snuck up on me right in november so the beginning of november i found this and fell in love immediately i don't do skin tints because i have so much discoloration and i really like my skin to look very even i like a little bit heavier coverage but this one gives me such good coverage and it is so light and i was just absolutely shocked on how truly pretty this is on everybody's skin that i've seen it on so you know if you've been looking for a really good skin tint but you haven't been able to find one that works find one that works for you this one might work so pretty for you now concealers oh concealers are one of those things that you love to hate right past couple years the one that made me fall back in love with concealers was kosas and this is all about the things that i tried this year this is not necessarily about what I love the most. That's a whole other video. So what I tried this year that I absolutely love at the drugstore was the Catrice True Skin. I love the foundation. It's fantastic. And I love this one. This is called High Coverage Concealer from them. And it says it's 18 hour hyd hydrating. I believe all of those claims. It is so pretty. This is definitely a higher end uh, concealer at a very drugstore price point. You can get this off of Amazon. I don't think that this is sold anywhere but Amazon and maybe on Catrice's own website. Sorry, I keep tugging at my shirt because I want my necklace to show. Anyway, this is a beautiful concealer, covers like a dream, does not crease, does not make you look cakey. And that's what all of these really do. And then the Sephora Best Skin Ever, I was so excited about this one because I love the foundation that they came out with two years ago. Well, I love the concealer that they came out with this time too. This one, a teeny tiny bit goes a long way because it really does cover, but it really has the same effect of the Best Skin Ever Foundation is that you do look like you have just skin. You're not looking like you have all this coverage, which can really get to looking cakey throughout the day, especially on a mature woman that has crinkles and wrinkles underneath there. So I did love that one so very much. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Conceal Radiant Concealer. It pains me every time I have to come on here and tell you how much I like a Charlotte Tilbury product because as you know, I fight against it, number one, because it's so stinking expensive, and number two, I think you're paying for the name. That's all. The Radiant Skin Foundation, I didn't like it, but I love the concealer. This one, I would say, is a little bit more hydrating than those other two, but you get the coverage on it and you get that little bit of radiance or that little bit of glow underneath your eyes that can really brighten if you have super dark circles. Beautiful product, love it. Let's talk about powder. The House Labs powder was so gorgeous when I picked it up at the same time that I picked it up, picked up the foundation. I love the container. I love that it has the mesh there. There's been a lot of these throughout the years. And all you have to do is stick your finger down in there and you'll see what I'm talking about. This is a super finely milled powder that feels like air. And I don't like loose powders normally because I always feel like they get too cakey. But this is one of the airiest, lightest ones that I have ever found. I adore this powder. And like I said, I don't like loose powders normally, but that one's pretty. And then the Jouer, this one is the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. I don't know about the hydrate powder part, but boy, is this a soft focus. First of all, hardly any comes out when you're using it. Hardly any. Think ambient powders from Hourglass, but not any sort of radiance. That's what this is. This is a really perfecting powder that you can set down your makeup with that won't get to looking cakey. It's just a very pretty powder, very light, very airy. This should have been a no powder powder name on this because I am here to tell you this is in 
incredibly gorgeous as far as buffing out and really just getting into those pores and making those pores look flawless so beautiful i love that powder and then if you're wanting one that is very close to it but it's drugstore the wet and wild bare focus clarifying finishing powder i was shocked okay this is a little bit heavier than the jouet but not by much you put your finger down in there and a little bit more comes out than the jouet does but it is that super fine cloud-like airiness that that powder has in there and this does not look cakey i can dip a brush in here just kind of dust it around and yes it's going to mattify and it's going to take care of setting down you know any areas where i have breakthrough but at the same time it's not going to look cakey and really powdery or anything like that this is gorgeous so definitely if you're wanting to try this away but you can't afford that price tag this one from wet and wild works so good i don't know why it says clarifying other than it might be clean makeup which it probably is and then the last one that i have to tell you about is a straight on dupe and I kid you not, because I am not a fan of the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder. A lot of people, that there is their swear by powder. They love that powder. They are not gonna, you know, do not pass go, do not collect $200. Go straight to ColourPop and find their pretty fresh powder in a color that works for you, and you're going to love it. When I put my finger in here, I cannot tell the difference. I mean, if I had the two of them and they didn't have the packaging or anything, and I was just feeling powder, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference Although I think I like the ColourPop better because I feel like it's a little bit lighter in its coverage and the way that it sets down your makeup. So blurring and so perfecting. And yeah, it's just, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I found this early in the year and I think I've brought it to you guys a million times already. So love it. Lastly, our finishing sprays, but this one is a priming spray from CoverGirl. This is the Priming Glow Mist with eight hour hydration. I don't know if it has that much hydration or not you can use this right after you do your spf right before you put on your primer for an added dose of hydration what i use it to do is i will spray it on my sponges or i will spray it on my brushes that i'm getting ready to do my foundation with and it just seems to help spread out the foundation and make it look so flawless that's what i've been using max fix plus for for years and years and now i feel like i have one at the drugstore which i absolutely love and think is so great one of you subscribers told me about the neutrogena radiant setting spray healthy skin radiant setting spray this is so nice so you're not going to get a super glow from this but you're going to get a subtle radiance from it and it's going to keep your makeup in place all day i'm not crazy about the mister on this it's not super fine so i will put that on a brush or on a makeup sponge and then i'll just dab it all over but it has the prettiest just glow to your skin when you're done with it. And it really does help keep your makeup on all day. So thank you to several of you subscribers that told me about this. And this is a great product for any of you that need a hypoallergenic product because Neutrogena does have those hypo hypoallergenic products. I just love that. And then the last product in this video is from MAC. It's Max Fix Plus Stay Over Alcohol-Free Long-Lasting Setting Spray. I knew when MAC decided to do a Fix Plus setting spray, not just the primer spray that we all know about and love, that I would be just over the moon happy with that, and I am. This is super fine. I do have a fan on, so forgive me. This is a super fine mist that I spray on my face a ton of times, and I'm telling you, you never have droplets, you never have anything on your face. And the other beautiful thing about it, if you're a mature woman that has dry skin, you will love this because there's no alcohol in it and it still holds your makeup on. And I don't care if you're dry all the way to the most oily gals, I think you should try this because honestly, I have never had a day that I haven't used this. And at the end of the day, my makeup looked absolutely gorgeous because I had used this. So I hope you did enjoy seeing this. I do have one more category, which is lips and eyes. Do you guys want to see that or not? I, I don't know if everybody's getting tired of seeing all of these. There's so many products that came out this year. I think that my collection probably doubled, and I think I said that in another video. But anyway, thank you all so much for being with me today. Tell me down below what your favorite product of the year for your complexion was this year. We'd all love to hear it, and so that we can go out and try it and see whether it'll be our favorites too. You guys all take care of yourselves. I love you so very much. Come back around and we'll be together really soon. Goodbye, my friends.